everybody. Welcome to Head Cheese Episode 2, bitches. Who would have thought we'd make it this far? I'm your host, Chris Tankersley, and sitting next to me is my lovely, beautiful, uber-talented co-host, Christy Tankersley. Say hello to the folks. Hello. Don't be shy. It's okay. They won't bite. I might, though. <laughs> Alright, so, uh... Last episode, we were talking about celebrity tombstones, and I don't know how I managed to overlook this one. I think Bruce Campbell's tombstone should probably say, Hail to the King, baby. That's just the most obvious one. Can you think of any other good ones? What about Jack Nicholson? Uh, well, I liked his uh, little line from uh, Batman, uh, Ever Dance with the Devil in the Pale Moonlight. That's a good one. What about Schwarzenegger? also liked his line from Batman and Robin. All right, everybody, chill. <laughs> How embarrassing. He'll never live that shit down. No. If you want to go the other way, you could just say, I'll be back. But that, too, is a little on the nose. But that's okay. Enjoy the show. Bubba. My friends call me Leatherface. I like power tools and uh, stitching together masks of human flesh. Uh, I guess I'm just looking for the kind of girl I can eat. Uh, I mean, uh, go, go out to eat with and uh, yeah, have fun. So give me a call. I was at the store today, picked up some of this shit called Sippin' Syrup, and it says it's a dietary supplement, which, I don't know, maybe it's supposed to be some kind of a cross between a herbal supplement and an energy drink or something. kind of tastes like rat piss. Actually, I don't know what rat piss tastes like, but it says candy, spelled with a K. To me, it tastes more like medicine than candy, but uh, it says on the bottle, Euphoric Thoughts, Extended Relaxation and experience calmness. I just started drinking it, so I can't really tell you yet. Don't feel anything yet, but we can check back in later, and I'll let you know if I have any euphoric thoughts. This is the eulogy that I never got to read at my mother's funeral. I sat down last night, staring at a blank page with a pen in my hand. My goal was simple to accomplish the impossible. To sum up in a paragraph or two how I feel about the death of the woman who gave me life, who brought me into this world. I'm supposed to neatly condense her life and who she was into a quick synopsis. I began to slowly realize, as I spaced out onto this empty page, exactly why this task before me was beyond my capabilities because I cannot open myself up and show everyone what lurks about inside me, I am limited to using mere words, words that only fall short. Certainly these mere words are far too insufficient to express the sadness in my heart. It occurred to me that if I wrote nothing at all, this page would reflect precisely what exists deep inside of me, nothing but emptiness. Everyone always talks about how shocked they were by the loss of a loved one. People always say how the loved ones that they had were taken away too soon. So I have nothing special or enlightening to offer. No great verbal epiphany or revelation will be made here today. I do believe my mother had plenty of life left in her. I know that she loved her family very much, and as much as I hope and pray that she's finally found the peace that managed to elude her for her entire life. I don't think that she was ready to leave us. I definitely wasn't ready for her to go. Of course, there are no words to describe how I feel, just as there's nothing I can say that will bring her back to us. I can only hope that she is listening from up in heaven and that she knows how much she will be missed.
I asked my wife to give me a little head yesterday, and this is what I got. It's not a little head, baby. It's a big head. A very big head. You know, some people say that I don't know the speed limit, and that I can't keep my private parts covered in public and that I don't know how to get off without an interesting yet oddly shaped sex toy shoved up my ass. The one thing I do know is a good cup of coffee. Hi girls, name's Fred. My friends call me Freddy. Don't let the blades scare you, these are just for cocktails. Uh, I like this sweater here, my mom gave it to me. It's a little itchy but it feels good. I like girls with kids. I'm really into kids. I've done a few things. I have a feeling that uh, they're about to catch up with me. So give me a call pretty soon. I haven't got much time left. Get on out here, Kruger! Uh-oh. I gotta go. This is a variation of one of our uh, most popular incense burners. It just has a larger base to it where you can set your cone incense on the outside and it still has the little holes in the eyes where you can put the sticks. This is a picture of a logo I just got finished coloring for my buddy Ken Sagos. You can reach him at thesagoscompany.com.